I am Nicole. I'm Dane. I am Nicki Minaj. We are the Osler family. Hey! High five. Yes. <laughs> that was a horrible high five. Well, your hands are way bigger. <laughs> we have two boys, Jax and Caden. Jax is he's such a loving kid, but he doesn't know how to control his emotions. <laughs> Um, chill. I guess he's busy. Kaden is our little, like, goofball. <laughs> I mean, very, very independent. All around me are familiar faces. Oh, that was awesome. And I'm just like a the ghost that cleans their house and cooks them dinner all the time. <laughs> Kaden, no thank you. <laughs> I'll do that, please. Part of our problem is I'm not around a lot. Oh my god! Officially on it. Ball and fire. Let's do this, baby. Dane just comes and goes, and we don't know when he's gonna be here. So when he's home, you know, we just try and make that as much as we can about him. I'm a savage. But when he's gone, I am not only a full-time mom, I do billing for a chiropractic office. I work all hours of the night. I just feel like I'm a <laughs> It's a lot of pressure and stress and everything else that goes on my shoulders. <laughs> yeah, now you get to go to time out and think about what you're doing. This is not okay. Yeah. I struggle with discipline all around. Like, I've kind of tried everything with these guys, taking things away. We've tried time out. <laughs> all the fighting and yelling and screaming and kicking and no one's listening and it's just like a constant battle. Stop. <laughs> like almost every day you're just like, okay, what am I gonna get into today? Give me the talkie walk. <laughs> Like you wake up like, I hope my kids had a good night's sleep. What happened? He kicked me right by the fire part. <laughs> I'm struggling, my kids are struggling. I don't know what else to do anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Splattered water up. Jax, I think you need to apologize to your brother for doing that. Do you know we'll stop the behavior? Probably not. So it's. You teaching your son to understand that when you make a choice to behave that way, this is how you make somebody else feel. Right. If he's carrying on like that, what do you need to do? Then he needs to come in. Correct. Mm -hmm. So you do know what to do. You're just doubting yourself. Right. When a child misbehaves, they need to know what they did was wrong. And consequences only need to be reinforced if the behavior continues. Jax. I need you to go throw the water bottle away and I need you to step inside. Because that wasn't okay. No. Stop. That's not what we said. What did we say? That you were going to go and talk to him, right? Mm -hmm. About his behaviour. And now you've told him he's got to go inside. Which is not giving him a chance to make a choice about behaving better, is it? Right. Come here, please. It's really not okay that you're throwing water over your brother and irritating him and annoying him. How do you think your brother felt when you just did that because you wanted to? Angry? Yeah, probably. Here's what you're going to do. Stop irritating your brother and just play with him, all right? Or don't. Up to you. But if he comes in and he says that you are starting trouble again with him, then you're going to have to come inside. <laughs> 